was uh Western Western Come, um but C U M Come by by Corey Hansen. Um I, I don't really know how I came across this album, but I have been looking for um just like a lot of alternative country. Like I I, I really love Juggy Pool, um, you know, or anything that's like adjacent to that. Um really really like and i felt like this was like this marriage between country meets punk meets like really hard rock in some parts of it um and also some electronic um sort of uh inspirations there too especially on like persuasion architect it gets really crazy um the beginning of that song um but yeah i love this album it's like really short it's only like 40 minutes um but it goes really hard and I can also listen to it while I'm in the gym, which is like a checkbox, big checkbox for me um, for albums lately. Um, but yeah, this is, it's great. I love the fucking name. The, the It's weird. The title track actually didn't make it to um, the album. So if you guys do want to go and listen to the title track and another song that didn't make it to the album, uh, he, Corey released them as singles um but yeah it's just like a great alternative rock country album um that kind of came out of nowhere <laughs> um so yeah i'd love to, to hear your guys thoughts i love this album straight up i i really really enjoy this album like you doug i've, I've always sort of enjoyed um sort of that alternate country stuff not not the mainstream country stuff but the sort of parts of the genre that are doing a little bit more musically. Um, and this was the confluence of a bunch of different stuff that I liked. I loved the hard rock. I loved the kind of the, the country spirit in the sense of, you know, you're on, on the open road in the open plains, that kind of thing. I, I loved that. And I loved the, the crosses with other genres. Um, so this, this really checked all my boxes for me. And I sent this album to uh, some people in Denver who like had a chance to see the show. Well, I don't know if they, they, they saw the show, but uh, they're like, wow, what what kind of a name is this album? I, like, I gotta listen to it, gotta go check it out. <laughs> Makes it a little challenging to, to to market to people who you don't know super well. Um, but I really enjoyed like Housefly and Twins. Like this this track, this this album just had a bunch of good tracks for me. Um, so I, I've got nothing, nothing but praise. Uh, I hear a lot of country music here in nashville in fact i am so incredibly inundated with luke bryant and johnny cash and dolly parton and it's just it's fresh breath of fresh air to hear something new in the genre um i think if you were to go to like you know a small bar in nash nashville not like one of the ones on broadway but you know just like a like a little dive i would not be surprised to see these guys here you know i i haven't listened to just like a straightforward like rock album in a long time especially not a new one you don't hear a whole lot of new just like rock albums rock country albums and this is uh this is breath of fresh air i'm a big fan um driving through heaven big standout for me i wasn't expecting a you know 10 minute long just guitar no vocals song and a lot of the time that can get really freaking boring but they take it into a lot of places that are um you know they're they're, they're fresh they have the same riffs that are sort of repeating they have the same motifs but they know when to swell and, and make it really loud and big and pull it back and it felt it didn't feel like just a really big long guitar solo which is what i think a lot of really long you know instrumental tracks end up being like if, if i think a bucket head god that's the most boring music i've ever heard but this is i like the songwriting on this and it just it didn't take it too seriously you know their, their song is their album is called western come which I just like saying that it's great. Um, I don't know. I was a big fan of this one. I think this might be my favorite one of them all. Um, I just haven't listened to you know just a straightforward rock album in a long time, and this is exactly what I needed. Yeah, this album was awesome. Driving through heaven, I agree, is epic. That song is like takes you on a journey. Um, if you're if you're watching this and you're like, yo, I don't like country music, I'm not gonna listen to it. It's not. I feel like it's not that country. Like it's country inspired, but like it's it's a rock album. Um, which I love. And it's, it's this it, country it, it, is Wilco is country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely country inspired. There's there's elements of it which which are really cool. And 
Uh, but I, I, re I really liked it. Really love the guitars and just the mood. Um, let's see. Yeah. Driving Through Heaven is, is definitely my favorite song. I really liked uh, Persu Persuasion Architecture, too. That was a fun one. Um, but yeah, really cool, really cool album for Hanson. Gonna, I'm going to listen to this a lot more. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I love it, too, obviously. This is right up my alley. Um, Doug showed me this a while ago um i think uh well it's interesting that like i don't know what song it is but you know it'll it'll be like really chill and all of a sudden it goes like no 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 you know like all of a sudden, uh, it goes, persuasion architecture that, that persuasion yeah. architecture yeah. yeah um I, I remember just like being like well that was unexpected but awesome <laughs> <laughs> you know like moments like that are like keep it really engaging um you know, house flies just super catchy. Um, yeah, just awesome stuff. And I, I yeah, I was gonna say the same thing about the country in, um, influences, but it's definitely not a country album. But I, but it's it's important to talk about. Like, you know, you hear that that it it's in there like somewhere, you know. And uh, but it, it it goes hard. It it's a rock album, and um, yeah, I'm a fan. So. Yeah, I kind of expected it to be more like Dougie Pool, I guess. Like when I heard Alternative Country, I was like, oh, this so this will be kind of more chill, like Dougie Pool, kind of emo country stuff. But it's definitely not. It's like it is like people have said, very, mm, excuse me, um, very rocky, very um, guitar heavy. Uh, I didn't I don't think I'll go back to it a lot, but um, that's just because. I don't know. I that's just not the kind of music that I like listening to that much. But if it's on, I'll I'll definitely. It's it was definitely interesting um, to listen to, and it did. It kept me very engaged, um, and it was cool to see. I don't know. It was cool to hear each new song because I didn't like. I had no idea what to expect, and that you can't say that for a lot of stuff these days. Um, and it was definitely something that I that I hadn't heard of that I hadn't heard recently at all. So it's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, glad y'all liked it. Uh, I think Cam hit the nail on the head. I think it was an, an album that I wasn't expecting to really like as much because I've also been kind of inundated with like emo country and like I wanted something a little different. So i um, really happy that this was like a rock album. Um, in terms of the score, I would give it a, a light nine, um, but a really hard, like, 8.7. 